Hi, my name's Andrew Collins and uh, this is Rendlesham Forest and this is a replica made of uh, metal of the UFO that supposedly landed here on, the, on December the 26th, 1980, during the early hours. Um, and basically what happened was that uh, two uh, military police guys belonging to the US Air Force uh, at the base just over there, uh, at a place called Woodbridge in Suffolk, saw some lights over the woods. Um, they thought they saw them disappear down into the trees. Uh, they came out in a vehicle uh, to investigate and eventually they could see like this light within a clearing and they moved closer and close, closer to it. They started suffering electrostatic effects uh, and eventually they saw this small object which looked very similar to this uh, apparently uh, with this sort of like flange area and uh, a dome on top uh, and not much wider than what you can see here, probably only about 10 foot uh, uh, across. And um, it's, they got so close that it's claimed that, that one of the uh, guys, Jim Penniston, actually touched the object. He could apparently see some strange symbols on it, which uh, in this replica they've tried to uh, replicate here and show, which is great. Um, and it's said that when he actually uh, made contact, that into his head came a download of a whole load of uh, numbers which were zeros and ones. Um, and that after the event and after it was reported, uh, he went home and wrote up what happened and felt that he needed to write down all of these zeros and ones, which obviously we recognize as binary code. Um, and he scribbled out from like 12 to 14 pages um, of these zeros and ones um, and kept quiet about them for 30 years. Uh, and eventually, uh, during uh, some filming that was being done with Prometheus Promotions for the uh, TV program Ancient Aviums, they, uh, they, they saw this notebook, asked him what these numbers were, and he said, oh, I felt compelled to write them down at the time. They realised the significance of them, had them translated, and they are quite strange. Um, and they give a series of uh, locations in coordinates, plus some other very strange uh, statements, and the claim that this message is coming from the year 8100, uh, which is obviously a long time from now. Um, and obviously the interpretation of this, this binary code message is a matter of huge debate and controversy uh, to this day. But uh, we come up here today and we find that they've actually created this incredible replica of the UFO itself. Um, and all I can say is that th this is an incredibly fascinating UFO story. Uh, and I actually believe these guys uh, and what was so weird is that in 1980, when this actually occurred, this event, um, Jenny Randalls, the UFO researcher, contacted me, having heard about it from some local people, and actually asked me to investigate it there and then. So in theory, I would have been the first investigator on, on, the, on the case, as it were. Unfortunately, due to um, uh, other things going on in my life, um, I wasn't able to take it up. Uh, and I wonder what would have happened to my life if I hadn't done. But I ended up writing about the case in my book, Light Quest, so you can read all about it there. So, yeah, this is great to see. We shall return later.